What's up guys, welcome back to IT Security Labs and today I'm very excited to be showing you guys my newest addition to my lab and this is my PFSense logs into Grafana so I can actually make sense of this information so I don't have to look at these logs and in a place where I don't know what they mean. This is how you can ship your PFSense logs, all of them, just regular firewall logs, blocks allow, whatever into Grafana and you can create graphs that look exactly like what I have here and this is wonderful as you can see you can have firewall events top destination top blocked IP total events and you can see traffic by interface in beautiful graphs traffic by ports I mean this is just amazing so in this video I will be showing you um, the resources that I used, I will also, also share with you some things that you need to keep in mind while following these resources because if you don't listen carefully to what I have to share with you, you spend hours and you'll be frustrated following these guides and things will not work. In this video, I'll be telling you exactly how I was able to follow these guides and believe me, I'm actually not that great at this stuff. I just uh, was looking at these logs and I realized that I needed to do something. And so guys, without wasting time, let me start sharing with you. I first saw this graph right here on the Grafana website and it looked wonderful. I looked at it and I thought I have to create that graph in my lab. I have to play with it. So I moved away from Cisco Meraki, installed PFSense on a box, and I can show you right now what my PFSense instance looks like. As you can see, I inst installed PFSense in a box. I was able to actually uh, set it up in less than three hours between PFSense, uh, Grafana, and everything. So without wasting time, let me show you the resource that I used. These guys have a GitHub page where they show you uh, how to pass the logs into Greylog. They don't have instructions on setting up Greylog because uh, they assume you already have it. And if you don't, go to their website, sysadmin superheroes. I think they are in Cuba. These guys are great. I give them all the credit they need. I followed their instructions. I installed Greylog. And uh, after installing Greylog, uh, which I can sign into right now, let me show you. So 168568, uh, um, I think. And uh, my Greylog is actually running on port 9600. That's a customization that I did. It's uh, just amazing. As you can see, I'm getting data in here. And if you go to your streams, you see that I have PFSense logs here. So I installed PFSense, which was very simple and straightforward. After installing PFSense, I installed Greylog, which was also very simple and straightforward. After installing Greylog, I also uh, made sure that uh, Elastic and uh, Greylog were communicating. I just want to give you one big tip here before we go anywhere. When you install your Greylog, Greylog 3.0 will not work properly with this setup. So you need Greylog 2.5, I think. Uh, in 3.0, they changed how they store the data. And also, uh, they, I don't think they allow underscores. So if you want to save yourself some time, install Greylog 2.5 or something that's not 3.0. Just uh, putting it out there, and that's your, at your own risk. If you install that and there's any vulnerabilities, I will not be checking that. So after installing Greylog, on their GitHub page, they have uh, instructions starting from uh, where you create indices. And um, I was able to just create indices uh, easily in my Greylog. As you can see, if you come in here, you can just go to your uh, indices. Uh, where is it? If I can read. And I created them and I mean, I just followed the instructions. So I will show you where you need to pay attention if this is what you decide to do. You need to pay attention on, uh, they're talking about creating indices, which is very simple and straightforward. They mentioned this Celebro. Celebro is a very nice uh, tool to interact with Elasticsearch. I had no idea what it is. I had to look it up. But um, the trouble that I ran into is that I'm running my gray log Elasticsearch and also um, Celebro on the same port and Greylog uses port 9000 so does Celebro so I had to change my Greylog to 9600 but if you want to see what Celebro looks like I will be able to show you right now 
dot five dot sixty eight a port 9000 this is then we just need to tell our celebro where elastic search is and it's very simple and straightforward since we're on the same machine we can just do local host in port 9200 as you can see we are there if we do a connect boom we're in and as you can see i can actually see that i do have my uh, pf so pf sense in this right here so this is something you need to pay attention to uh, in the instructions, but going back to the instructions, they talk about these content packs. I just wanted to put it out there very quickly that if you follow the instructions here, you also when you import these content packs, you want to make sure that you put the the first content pack first. Uh, so you put the content pack that is IP table uh, the table lookup .json first, then you apply it, then you put the pfSense second if you don't i've seen a lot of people ask online that it's not working it's because of this so guys if you really want this graph that i'm showing you right here it's very simple and straightforward if you follow the instructions and as you can see mine here is actually customized to me um i still don't know why my GIP location is not working i have to tweak that but i'm pretty happy with uh where everything is it right now i can see that information i don't just have logs just coming in i actually have a place where i can visualize these logs they are not the most exciting things ever but as a network administrator out there you'll be very very happy to know that if you are getting uh, complaints from people you can come in here and see that maybe your top, top destination is uh say um dropbox if you look up the IP address, then you know there's someone who is constantly syncing Dropbox. Or if you're under attack, under d distributed denial of service, if you are attacking something, you'll be able to investigate that. And this gives you a nice view where you can just put on your TV. And it's a fun little project, very easy to set up. And I really love Grafana. So if you want, you can follow the instructions on this website and you'll be able to actually uh, get it up and running. And uh, I have another tip that I wanted to give you guys. Uh, they do talk about some um, streams. This is very simple and straightforward. But uh, there's a part where they mention that you need to change the time zone right here. And they make you uh, copy this config to put in there. When you do change this part to your time zone, I forgot to do it. And my uh, Grafana will not display the logs because Havana is two hours ahead of me so i did see my logs two hours later but they were off so you want to make sure that uh you do this correctly and you put your time step your time zone here i mean it's a little obvious but you'll be surprised otherwise uh everything that they did here is very simple and straightforward if you have any questions if you want to know more about this and uh, if you get stuck, let me know in the comments below. I'll be more than happy to help you. Otherwise, if this is something that a lot of people are interested in doing, I'll actually create a series where I will start with installing uh, PFSense, then I'll install Greylog, then I'll install Elastic, then I'll install um, Celebro, then we can create the graph to show you what is possible out there especially if you have logs coming from pfsense i was very excited to have this setup it took me less than three hours and it's amazing uh the, what kind of information you can get especially if you can see the top blocked ip addresses right away and you can see your firewall events you can even create baselines on it so guys that's it for today if you have any questions let me know in the comments if this is something you're working on on a weekend or something, I would love to hear that you're starting this project. Let everyone know in the comments that you actually are pushing your logs. I'm pretty sure this works with other systems that also send logs, but this is gold, guys. If you like to play with data and if you like to manipulate data, if you want to have visibility in your environment, this is what you set up. Otherwise, guys, I'll see you in the next video where I'll be explaining more wonderful things about your home lab and IT in general.